So I use Tailwind UI almost on a daily basis. I use it from everything from creating simple forums all the way up to basically the whole websites. So in this video, I wanted to create a, um, I wanted to try to spin up a brand new Laravel application from scratch uh, with Tailwind and create a three page website. So the welcome page, a pricing page and a contact page and try to get that done as quickly as possible. So let's go ahead and uh, start off with a brand new Laravel application. Laravel new, we'll call this Tailwind test, TW test. Okay, that's installed. Now let's go to TW test test. Okay, so now we have a simple Laravel application. I'm gonna open this up in PHP Storm. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up the terminal here on PHP Storm and run Composer require Laravel Breeze. And that way we have authentication in place as well as um, Tailwind installed. Let's run PHP Artisan Breeze install. And now we can run uh, npm install and npm run dev. If we load our package.json file, uh, we can see we have Tailwind installed. Uh, this is Tailwind Forms and the Tailwind CSS 2.02. Uh, Okay, so go back to Chrome real quick. Let's go back to Chrome and refresh. We got the login here, welcome blade. And now we get to start customizing. So I'm gonna go to the welcome blade. And you can see this is all uh, just some normal CSS. So I'm going to go to resources, views, and check out the layouts. So we have a app layout and a guest layout. So I want to use the guest layout. Um, so we're going to go to dashboard, copy all over this. We're going to copy over the contents from the dashboard onto the welcome blade and replace the, and replace the app layout with the guest layout. Now we get this simple login screen. This is going to go away. And now we have a blank page. And this is using the guest layout. So we've got the guest layout here. There's only a body tag and some, the font sans and, and some CSS classes here. So let's go ahead and go to Tailwind UI and we're just going to look at landing pages. Uh, we'll just choose the first one. I like this one. I've actually used it quite a bit. It's going to copy all of it and we're going to go to the welcome blade and we don't need this header that may throw error. So let's, Double check that there's no errors here. No, there's not. And now let's just dump in all that HTML from Tailwind. So that's a lot. We get rid of the comments here. Refresh. And now we have this, this landing page here, the menu. We can use Alpine to toggle this menu on and off. We're actually not going to use it. We're just going to use three pages so we could break this apart now. So we have the header, the main section and the footer. So I'm going to create a, a blade component and we'll call this footer. Go back, create another one. We'll call this the, uh, create another blade component, call it the header. And now we could just grab the footer here and put in the component and use the blade component, place that with this and go back, do the same for the header. So X header for the blade component and inside the header component blade file, we're just going to expand that out. And this is the header and footer here and the welcome. So that shouldn't change anything. Everything should still look exactly the same and it does, but now it's just a little cleaner to look at. So we went from like 800 lines down to 370. And you could break this out into more components. So you could break out the hero unit, the logos, um, these feature areas here, and break, basically break them out to their own components to clean it up even further. Uh, but for now, that's good enough. So I want, so now we could actually use the header and footer for our other pages. So this is just, this keeps annoying me. So I'm just going to get rid of the, um, the drop down. So this is the drop down here. 
get rid of it. Let's go back, refresh. So now that drop down's out of the way. And we can get rid of actually this whole div. This is all that div for the solutions. We don't need that. Refresh. So we got the three pages here. Uh, we got three extra links here. And we're going to get rid of one. And we'll create the pricing. We'll keep pricing as pricing. And then the partners will do contact contact us. So now we have pricing, contact us, and the sign up, sign up, the sign in, the sign up. So here we could just quickly add these links. We can use the route named routes, and this is going to be the sign in, so the login. And then down here, we can use um, another route, and we'll call this the, well, we can just target the register name route. Come back here, refresh. Now these links should work. We can go back. So these are working. So now let's get the, uh, let's move over to a page controller. Let's go to a web routes. And typically I would use TDD to drive all this out, but in this case, we're not going to do that. So we can create a new route and this is going to be the contact us. And we need to create a page controller. And we'll target the contact us method and we could use a named route so we'll call this contact contact us and we'll just duplicate that down and this will be pricing and the pricing method and the name is going to be pricing okay so let's refresh here and now we can replace these routes with the named routes that we just created here so go back to the header, pricing route is going to be pricing and same for the contact us. So route, contact us. Now when we hit these, we're going to throw errors, right? Page controller doesn't exist. So let's, cre let's create that controller, call this page controller. Okay. And get rid of this index. And we're going to create a method and call this the pricing. And we're going to return a view. It's going to be pages dot pricing and same with the contact page. So contact us and contact us. These doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and create those. We would need to create a view and pages dot pricing and one more. We can create a view pages dot contact us. If we're still in this error because we did not import that. So let's go back to the web routes and import the page controller. So now we should get a blank page and we do, and we can go to that contact us method, open up the blade file and simply go back to the welcome blade, copy and paste this in. We can get rid of everything in the main tag. Um, we'll just recreate that main tag. So let's collapse it, delete it, and then we we'll just create it again. So that'll give us uh, the, this is the contact us. So now we have the header and the footer, and now we just need the content. So if we go back to Tailwind, uh, one thing about Tailwind that I get annoyed about is the inconsistent designs. So if we go to contact pages here, you can see none of these pages match up, um, which is not a big deal, but um, it'd be nice if they did match up. So we could use this here. So let's open up the code block here and we'll just grab everything within the main tag. So main here, all the way down to the closing main, which is here, copy that and we can get rid of this main tag and just paste that in. So now we have this contact page. Don't really like these dots here and get rid of this. We get rid of the dots with this div here. Go back and refresh. Now the dots are gone. Now it says get in touch, go home. And okay, so, so I wanna go home with this logo here. So we go to the header. 
and find that logo, which is going to be, which is here. And we can just do route home. Let me just go to URL home. So refresh that. Now we can go home, go back to contact, contact here. And as you can see here, this looks kind of weird here. It's just because in this, in the, in this Tailwind component, they use the teal color, but we don't have that teal color because we didn't include it. So we can just change that to indigo, which the buttons use. So let's go here. Let's look for contact blade and teal. And that's going to highlight all the teals. There's a lot of them. And we'll just change that to indigo. Come back to our site, refresh. So now we have a contact page uh, with the branding that matches here. We could actually add the gradient that these buttons have, um, but we're not going to do that. Okay, so now let's work on the pricing page. So let's go back to Tailwind and look for pricing. Pricing page is down here. And let's find one that looks at least somewhat similar. So this one looks pretty similar. Okay, so for whatever reason, uh, I cannot use inspector tools to grab a portion of it. So I am going to go to code and just strip this out manually. I believe it's this div here. Let's go all the way to the bottom and pull this into our pricing page. So I'm going to go to my contact, copy and paste this. A little sloppy here. I'm going to grab everything in the main. Delete it. And then just grab the rest of this. And insert it between the header and footer. Let's go back here and go to pricing. So now we have this. It don't really match because it's blue. So we go here to blue, find blue. We're just going to take all the blue and replace it again with in the go place. So now we have this contact page that matches our purple here. Um, so we go home, we got that and let's actually shrink it down. So we got home pricing contact and you could better match these colors here. Cause these ones, cause this looks a little bit more light, uh, purple or light indigo color than the buttons and so we got home looks great pricing looks fine contact us it looks fine and the links all work so that so we created a three page layout by just copying and pasting some tailwind pages and now we could just customize each page however we like so back into the welcome blade we can just change this to making a YouTube video. Come here, refresh. Now we're just making a YouTube video and customize this. Swap out our application um, designs here. And now we could worry about writing the functionality or the features for our website versus having to uh, design and code and, and write CSS, which I personally uh, do not like at all. So looks good. We got a home, pricing, contact, sign in and sign up all within 10 or 15 minutes, however long it took. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching.